It's Derek O'Brien, Rajya Sabha MP and also the leader of the AITC Parliamentary Party in the Rajya Sabha. Thank you very much. Uh, so nice to see you from Shillong, pole-bound state, where you have great hopes and Thank expectations. You. But let's talk, Mr. Derek O'Brien, about the index of opposition unity and the Congress party saying that, yes, we will win, we will be the fulcrum and everyone will come together. Is that even possible? Well, Mr. Upadhyay, thank you for having me on the show and I was listening to your open comments, uh, opening comments saying that there were two big political uh, pieces, uh, two big pieces of political news in the week. Mm. Uh, I completely disagree that those, these were the two big news, <laughs> but that's your prerogative and this is your show. No, I think I there was a bigger piece of news in the, in, uh, for the last one week. The biggest piece of news in the last one week is one week has already gone by. Of course, these are the, 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 the show is good uh, because you're going to, you're going to do uh, on news which was created last week. But for the last one week, there still hasn't been a word from the Prime Minister on what has happened to the money of Life Insurance Corporation of India and State Bank of India. Mm. Not a line from the Prime Minister, the mm. Finance Minister or everybody in government. Investments made in Life Insurance Company or Corporation of India have crashed. So now we got that out of the way. That's the biggest piece of news. Sure. But if everyone's rushing and everyone's so concerned about the index of opposition unity, let me answer your question on the index of opposition unity. It's very, very simple. Mm. When we go into the 2024 election, the opposition has already, is already united. In Maharashtra, the BJP will lose double-digit seats. In Bihar, again, the opposition, as we call it, a united opposition, is, is there. Again, BJP will use double-digit seats. In West Bengal, it's the Trinamool's job is to ensure that the BJP loses double-digit seats. So there are the, sa the same formula works in Telangana or in Tamil Nadu. Mr. KCR, Mr. Stalin will, re will lead their respective parties against Mr. Modi. If you're looking for index opposition unity and looking for one face to take on uh, Mr. Modi, you're not going to see that because the last time we read the Constitution of India, we are still, at least till February 2023, we are still a parliamentary democracy. It's not gone presidential as yet. I mean, I've been sitting here in Shillong for the last two months. I only see pictures of one gentleman. Okay, that's his his prerogative. So it's not a presidential election and I do believe that the opposition will take the, uh, will take the Modi government on in 2024 and the result will be an aggregate of state elections. 